right now I have one setting on my camera set as a manual, but the rest is set as regular modes because uh don't need everything set as manual. Yeah. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. <laughs> camera equipment to see what the batteries are at right now before I head out today. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Okay, charging one on the computer, charging one here, here, here. How's the lens today? Could use a little clean, probably. This is how you clean the lens, bud. Now I'm just quickly looking for something. No, we don't have time to probably. No, we don't have really time. So we're gonna. For now, I'm gonna exit. And right now I'm gonna shut down my computer. So right now I'm just getting ready. Cause I gotta go to a sleep clinic for um a test to see why I have so much trouble sleeping. Oh, and I should probably, I should probably grab one thing out of this uh, DSLR kit for the camera. Only cause we can use it for the other camera too. I'm gonna carry this brush with me from now on. Thank you, stay. Cause we're not too bad of a bumpy road. Like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay in that spot. If it was on a bumpy road, I wouldn't even do. I would be more worried, but the road looked okay. I don't have a suction cup anymore. <laughs> it broke. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I'm Are you worried about it? No. 
If it was in the city, I wouldn't have put it there, though. Because it's just a tripod. Because I know on some of the bumpy roads, you can't control it. You have to tell me when we're getting off the highway. So I can take it off. It did shift a little. Not much. I think it's mostly going to fall towards me if it falls. I don't think it'll fall that way. Because we're on the highway. And it's not too bumpy or anything. Oh, that helps, right? What? Motorbike in the ditch. Well, hopefully someone didn't get hurt. Yeah. What the hell is this? Grandma says when she, she moved, she got a, a shipping container or something. You can rent it. The moving... Yeah. She said... But she doesn't call it a shipping container. She calls it a moving container. Yeah. Same thing, but yeah, that's what they're used for. They use those. She says it's not the same. Oh, it probably is, Jeffrey. That's what I thought. But she might not know, like realize that, right? And I'm like, she showed me it before, and I was like, that's a shipping container. Yeah. And then other times she's like, yeah, that's what it is. But she doesn't realize the name. I don't think. Right. Because they use them on big ships, that's yeah. why they're called shipping containers. Yeah. They used to look a lot different than they do now. Yeah, they think. They look safer now because the way they clip onto everything. Uh.
This is dead. Trucks. Burning trucks. Get over it. You're on the yellow. Huh? You're on the yellow. Huh? Yeah. I thought you were supposed to be beside it. Right. You're on it though, aren't you? Um, might be just... You afraid to drive beside the truck? So I just went to the sleep clinic, Blue Water Sleep Clinic, and I still have to go back yet. I could have stayed that night, but we did not have the time that night to stay that night because mom had to work the next day. So if you have to work the next day, you can't always do your appointments that night. But the Blue Water Sleep Clinic was very nice, and uh, yeah, we gotta figure out what is causing me not to sleep well at night.
But uh, now we are back at home, and I uh, want to go outside and do some work on my bicycle. And while I do that, I wanted to bring you guys along for the journey, like I like to do. Uh, but yeah, let's see if I have my headband or something. But yeah, like you see, let's go outside and do some work on my bicycle. But yeah, we are taking a tripod out to do the work on my bicycle. Right now I'm just getting ready to fix some of the mounts on my bike and replace a couple of the mounts on my bike. So if you guys want to stay tuned for this part as well, you guys can come along for the journey. But first we got to unscrew the old foam mount before I can put anything new on my bike. So yeah, uh, it is raining, as you see. Um, so if you guys did see me struggling, trying to get this mount off my bike, So yeah, um, so we're trying as good as we can to get the old foam mount off the bike and put some new mounts on my bike handlebars. Yeah. Once we get the mount off, we got some other mounts. We gotta put it on my bike. Depends what mount you want to put on the bike. But yeah, like I say, it is pretty interesting. I hope you do like this and I hope you do find this quite interesting because I did a lot of work in trying to make this video here. It can be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but, um, but yeah, uh, like I say, it was kind of hard to find which mount worked. Yeah, um, I did figure out what mount worked, and I think I had to grab a different mount, because I had two mounts that could have been screwed to my handlebars. Yeah, so if you like this video, comment in the comment section. I'm trying to uh, put this mount on a different spot even before we get to going for a ride and it ended up being I don't think this mount did work very good uh, because it didn't seem to want to screw into my handlebars, like I say. But yeah, um, like you say. But yeah, I do think this was a pretty good learning process of what I could be doing to my bike. I am going to have to try again with this mount or another mount because I am having a little bit of trouble connecting this mount to my bicycle.
So I hope I can get it on there. But if not, I should have another bike mount with me. So yeah, I just hope it goes a little better in a few minutes here. If not, I'm going to have to get a different bike mount for my handlebars. So you guys can see where I am going. I hope if it fits on the handlebars, I hope it works for the camera. Because of, I paid a little bit of money for this. So I'm hoping it works. I finally got the mount on the bike where it's supposed to be. Uh, but I must have just got it on. Now I got all the bike mounts I was trying to put on my bike. On the bike. I'm checking over the bike here to see if I need any bike oil on the chain. And it looks like I may need a tad drop. Right now, I'm just opening up the WD-40 so I can uh, put some bike chain oil on. And I am spinning the chain around to make sure it's lubricated. So I hope you like this video because this is going to be a little different than normal videos. But here I am putting a little chain oil on. As the chain's going around, I am putting a little bit of bike oil on, or a lot of bike oil. At this rate, it looks like I'm putting a lot on. New camera mount. So when you're riding, this is what you'll look like. 